So we officially have dogs in the Hunter Call of the Wild now. The Bloodhound DLC should be out on all platforms, and we're gonna take our Bloodhound Rocky for a fallow deer hunt here on Te Aoroa. I was thinking through all the best ways to potentially power level the dogs, and I think this might be one of the best ones because you can just get so many deer, and if we have him track pretty much every one of those, we're gonna be leveling up pretty quick. So we're gonna start up here at these lakes. We'll go up here and see if we have any that we can take out. And we're going to actually go to Parque Fernando later. Uh, I'm planning on streaming this probably not too long after this video drops. And we'll go and take a look at Truac Black Buck then. So hopefully we can get Rocky to a decent level now. And we'll take a look at the Black Bug on the stream. That's actually kind of cool to see that Rocky goes into the critical position at... I think he's level 2. Because we did max his bond. Basically he's letting us know that we were about to spook that fallow deer. Even without like really any companionship or anything. So... Cool to see. We'll call him over here and we'll actually make sure he is still maxed with his bond, which he is still best friend. So I think that's going to get us max XP. And the fact that we dropped him just means all we have to do is set him on to track. He should find that in just a second and we'll be able to claim it. And he also leveled up to level 2 as a tracker. So as he's doing that, we'll scan around and make sure we're not missing anything. He actually found that pretty quickly. We'll praise him and everything. Claim our first fellow of the hunt, which we actually managed to shoot through the neck. And of course we have to give him a treat for doing well, especially with his first uh, official harvest, I guess we can call it. Now like I said, I think the fallow deer might be the fastest way to level them up. And it's just because there are so many. So there's a level 4 here that hopefully is going to turn back our way a little bit more. But then there's at least 3 others at this lake. And if we can, we'll just go for them all. We might as well try to take advantage of everything that's around here. That guy spooked, but that one's still far enough away that he didn't hear it. And probably because there are going to be so many fallow, we won't worry about, like, that one that did run off. It actually should leave our zone there, so that might be best that he got away. So if we were to leave every action we take with the dog in this video, it would probably be close to an hour long, because there's going to be a lot of this where we basically set him to track, wait for him to find the animal, and kind of go from there. So basically my process is going to be, as I think that might be the same fallow that's running out of there. Might as well go ahead and get a shot in him as well. I think that might have been a bit forward, but Rocky will be able to find him. I'm just going to make sure that he is at best friend for the bond, and then let him find every single fallow that we take out, let him level up as we go along, and that should let us gain a ton of XP as we go along here with our fallow hunt. And as we're coming up on what is, I think, our fifth fallow deer at this lake, Rocky is already both in companion and tracker level four, so it goes pretty quick, like I said. And he should actually be finding this and barking in just a second. Actually, the last two he barked really quickly, but maybe it's because there was a longer trail and a worse shot on this one. He's taking a little bit longer. Finally found it. We did actually hit him in the vertebrae. So, of course, we'll praise him and head off to the next lake, which is just down this way a little bit. And it looks like we have at least two bucks at this lake, so we'll probably go for the one that's facing us first. Usually that's a more difficult shot. Can drop him. Go ahead and drop that guy as well, and I swear I saw another antler as they were running away. Maybe it was just a headlight kind of in the shadows. But especially when we're dropping them, as far as I can tell, the experience the Bloodhounds gain is pretty much the same whether they have to track the animal over a long distance or if you literally set them to track an animal that you dropped in his tracks. They pretty much level up the same, and actually I think as we're going here, he should be reaching level 5 companion when he tracks these. So we'll have to consider which trait we give him between loving and shortcut. And I think from the fact that we got to try out both during the early access period, I think we're probably going to give him the shortcut trait. So as he's finding our second one, he's actually 10% away still from level 5. So we'll have to go and get one more, but we're going to head to the river. I don't know if there were ones that were late. There's actually another buck down there, so we can get him leveled up to 5 with that. We'll go ahead and take that shot and run back. Because then that's going to make the river run a little better with that shortcut trait. Drop that one too, so speed up the process a little bit. So now that he is level 5 as a companion, first off we'll actually give him a treat for finding that one. And then we'll go in and take a look at the two traits just a little more closely before we actually uh, choose one. But basically the options are the loving trait, which basically just increases the overall bond or shortcut, which is skipping detour tracks in favor of more recent clues, and just seeing what the dogs are capable of when they're tracking, I think that's actually worth getting, so we're gonna have that. 
And now we're gonna go to the river. And as I was talking about earlier with showing like all the actions we take with the dog, if we show all the fallow kills in this video, it's gonna be a really long, probably uh, repetitive video. So one thing we are gonna do is reset the time. But once we get down there, we're probably only gonna show either good sized fallow or times where Rocky is leveling up because this is gonna get to a point where we're just taking a ton of fallow bucks and kind of repeating the same process, making sure he is at the best friend level with the bond and then having him track pretty much every single one we get a chance to. Now they might just be level two and level three fallow bucks, but that is such a good thing to see because one of the things in this update is that the kind of like animal AI was reworked a little bit to fix the like delay where animals were getting to their zones really late. And this was a zone where it always happened, and to see the fallow deer already in it is a really good sign that that's actually working well. So we'll get up here and start the process of pretty much taking out every fallow buck we can. And by the way, it was a common question like what the dogs do when you get in a tripod or a blind or anything. They just kind of chill and wait for you to get back out of the structure that you're in. But we'll take that guy, and if we can find the two quickly enough, I don't know if it was one of the ones that ran off there. I'm trying to get it as well. I think that's going to be enough to bring it down anyway. So one thing that I'm kind of wondering is that if the uh, focus was actually working properly on the early access, because I never saw our dogs get tired. And I know you can have increased focus at, I think, maybe level 10 or 15. Or maybe it's actually 20 with sharp. So I don't know what the dog being tired actually does. But we'll have to pay attention to that and see if it kind of hurts his... Uh, ability to track. So far it seems fine, but that's something we didn't get to actually experience at all in the early access, and actually he went back to alert, so I don't really know how it works, but we'll keep an eye on that. So I've been trying to pay attention to understand the focus a bit more, and I think the difference has been just the fact that we're tracking so many fallow deer, because he goes from tired back to attentive and alert pretty quickly, and I think we just never had that many animals in a row to track on the early access build to where we saw that. And it doesn't seem to be a big deal, he seems to still track just fine. But, like I said, it's not very long until he's back up to, like, the uh, three lightning bolts, whatever that is. I think attentive might be three and alert is two. But we're almost to level ten both on companion and tracker, and we're not even an hour into this hunt. So you can see how just uh, a quick fallow hunt can really make a huge difference as far as their levels. So we'll make sure we keep praising him and giving him treats, but we're moving right along probably to 30 fallow kills or more at this point, and just really quickly leveling him up. It's getting pretty close. We actually were further ahead in tracker than companion, but that wasn't something we ever did in the early access build either. We always had companion higher, because you do gain companion XP just by being with your dog. You can see he actually just went back to attentive there, so like I said, it doesn't take long, but apparently... Taking out this many animals this quickly, you can really level up the tracking fast. Ooh, there we go. I think that's, it's a low estimate, 215 to 268, but he looks pretty good sized. I want to say that guy should make it, so there are, hold on. That's not as big. The estimate's higher, but there's two level fives at the end here. I definitely think we should shoot this one first, because he's clearly bigger, and then if we could have gotten another shot at that guy, we would have. We'll kind of let him maybe come back just in case it's a lower diamond, but that's insane to me. I spent I don't know how long trying to get a rare fallow with over 500 kills and no diamonds, and you guys might remember uh, my girlfriend Kyla was here like a week and a half ago. I think she shot 20 and two level 5s to spawn. I'm really not convinced that guy is big enough to make diamonds, so I'm kind of willing to take a riskier shot. Although I think we probably still got lungs. And even though we do have some level 5s laying out here, I do want to still get any other bucks that we can. So there's that guy and that little one beside him. I don't know if any others have come back. I don't see any, so let's get these two. Neither angle is great, but we might be able to make it work. That guy's taken off real quick. So the nice thing is, we do have the Bloodhound. Even if our shots aren't the best, we'll be able to find him. It actually looks like both of those guys are going to go down pretty quick. Every time I think that we've seen them all here, there's another one walking out. 
But I do want to go and see what we got for this first five, and I also want to make sure we get Rocky kind of posed beside him. It's not the best landing because he was kind of facing downhill, but we'll try to get some kind of little picture here. I really wish that the fallow deer would have fell a little bit better, because that actually looks really nice. We got the sun facing the right direction and everything, so we'll just kind of go with that. And we should actually, for one, make sure we get back to the max spawn level. But then also have Rocky track him and continue getting XP because we're getting close to that level 10 companion. We might actually be higher on the companionship now since we haven't tracked in a minute. It's actually still at loving too, so just to make sure we gain the max XP, we'll make sure we get that up to best friend. And that should do it, so let's have him track that now. And just to see, yeah, we're actually higher on companion, so probably one or two more tracks he is going to be up to that level 10 we can give him another trait and i think at least we'll praise rocky for finding that i think rocky found himself his first diamond and he did a 265.8 which might be our best fallow is one of the lowest estimates i've seen because we've seen well into the 300s but i'm pretty sure 263 has been our best so that's actually pretty cool if there's ever been a find that deserves a treat, I think it's that one. And I do wonder about that other level 5, but I really doubt that one actually is going to make it. It looked like kind of a big 4. But one other thing I noticed is another one of the 3s came back. And because we used the tripod, I'm pretty sure we're not deleting any zones by taking that shot. And I'm not sure if that's the 4 or the 5 laying up there. But there's one right up here in front of us. It looks like a 4. But that does actually get us to level 10 on the companion. And we were testing this out on the early access. And I think this nosy trait makes a big difference as well. Basically just increases the distance at which your dog can find a blood clue. Versus the sixth sense, which is giving him a higher chance of sensing when an animal is about to be spooked. Nosy seems to be a little more useful. So we're going to have him learn that. We're going to praise him for finding our level 4. And our level 5 shouldn't be too much further this way. In fact, I can see the blood. Let's send him to track. See if he can find that from here. It looks like it's only maybe 30 meters away. But he's just heading straight there. He's actually not going to the initial blood. Maybe he did. Just went around a little bit. But yeah, high bleed rate, I think we got this just fine. I mean, that looks like probably a 220s or 230s fellow. Unless he's a little wider and somehow reaches that 251 point, I can't see that actually being a diamond, so you can claim them uh, before they start barking, he'll still find it. But yeah, 226, not even 95 kg level 5, so kind of just a high level on that one. Usually 94 kg wouldn't be really that close. Apparently we're having him lie down instead of giving him a treat, but we'll get him to sit back up and give him another one. And actually... As we're getting our, I think, second to last fallow, or maybe third to last, there was one that ran off that way still. That's got him to level 10 as a tracker as well, so I do want to show this. If we sit here in the uh, harvest screen for a minute, he will start barking that he recovered the animal. But this was, I think, the last one we shot. Now he's barking, so we'll praise him for that. Sometimes I'll give him, like, just the praise, sometimes I'll give him a treat, sometimes I pet him. I try to switch it up, I don't know if it makes any difference whatsoever but it kind of keeps it fresh as we're going along. And it is a bit of a time commitment, I guess, as we're kind of doing like a couple of hunts to level them up. But I really think it's going to be worth it when we get into these like higher level traits, such as either Master Tracker, which is finding the animal without needing to follow a trail, or Brave, like warding off predator attacks, some stuff like that, or the spotted that we looked at in Sunday's video. Those kind of things can be so useful that I think it's going to be well worth the time to actually level them up now. So we should be recovering this one in just a second. Actually, as we're doing that. So like I said, we'll just switch it up and pet him this time. I think there's one more yet to find. And then we're going to head back to the Trophy Lodge. It's worth noting, by the way, with that nosy trait, I didn't even know where the blood was. Just set him to the trail, and he found it well before we did. And he's also at a level 10 tracker now, just basically tracking faster than we could. Which is really good to see. I mean, we're an hour and seven minutes into this recording. We shot probably in the area of 30 to 40 fallow deer. And quick as that, he is basically an expert tracker. Like I just said, he's going faster than we could. Praise him for that. That is a messed up, what would have still been silver level four. And yeah, let's go back to the trophy lodge and take a look at our fallow deer and see if that is actually our best one. I forget if I praised him for that. Make sure we do that before we go back, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be. 
I think I must have had the numbers backwards because it's 267.3 and we actually have two of those that scored the exact same. But anyway, as we run back here, we can pay Rocky a visit in the Trophy Lodge. I still don't think there's anything you can do currently in the lodge. I hope they add some kind of like little interactivity with the dogs since they're actually here and like they do wake up when you go over to them. Even if you can do something with food and water or pet them. By the way, I guess it's just the angle. The water is a lot less dirty than it looks from a distance. But yeah, I do like that they actually have the dogs in here and we'll go and find a place for our fallow deer super quickly. But that was a really, I think, successful first time. I mean, the diamond obviously helps. But getting up to level 10 companion and tracker within an hour is pretty good in my opinion. And I never really planned this, this kind of just happened as we've gone along. Having all of the moose and fallow and like the elk up here, just the amount of antler on this wall is insane. We might need to reconsider the chamois for like Sikadi or something. Because it actually looks really cool, but yeah. This is at least the biggest fallow in this room. 265.8 opposite a 264.9. Both of those were taken from Te Awaroa. But that's cool. I actually like what that does for the wall, and I just can't believe there were two fives waiting there. Like I said, we shot like 500 and something to get our albino, and Kyla has killed tons of diamonds on Xbox, and of course, she was here, shot, I, I actually think it was 19. And there were two five respawns just waiting for us, so go figure. Just had to call in an expert on diamond fallow deer, apparently, and thanks to her, we got ourselves a diamond on our first hunt with the bloodhounds. So yeah, pretty good to get a diamond on our first hunt with Rocky. Hopefully that's going to be a good sign of things to come with future hunts with him. And I'm actually quite looking forward to getting out there on Parquet Fernando and getting to hunt for the Truax Black Buck. So if you're watching this video not long after it came out, that stream should be starting soon here on YouTube. So hopefully we'll see you guys there. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.